Let's try the other side. This leg is stiff. Connect foot to core and bounce, bounce, bounce. All right. Hi gang, Denise here and welcome to Drill of the Week. Today our drill is a single leg hopping drill. So when would we use that? Usually that is uh, like if you're going into a very controlled and careful headstand, forearm stand, um, handstand, those kinds of postures where we want to get the legs up. We use, of course, two-footed hopping when we hop forward from downward facing dog to forward fold. But this is a single leg hop. Now, the reason I'm including this, and not everybody's going to go into those inversions that I mentioned, but these hopping actions strengthen and keep the balance and resiliency in the muscles and fascia that help us you know, walk upstairs or that give us uh, that extra push off for walking, hiking, climbing, anything like that. And of course, uh, many, many times throughout the yoga practice, we'd be very thankful that we were giving some attention to these muscles. So this drill is gonna help us build some skill it's going to give us a chance to practice the skill, habituate the skill, and then we'll challenge it throughout the practice. Okay, so here's what I suggest. We'll start in downward facing dog. And just kind of as we did with our uh, double leg hopping or two footed hopping, dial the hands away from each other, set the shoulders. We wanted to feel that bounciness, okay? So that's just great. We can start slow there. Remember that these drills really drive the heart rate up. So you don't want to do 100. You want to just do as many as, as it takes to practice. So I'm going to go on one leg now and just practice hopping on one leg. And I might do it like three to five times. I want to keep my core organized, my shoulders organized. So it's partly focusing on the foot that's doing the hopping but also having to keep the rest of the body organized. Okay, so now I'm gonna bend my uh, leg that's in the air. Remember, we have to start with a bent knee, okay? Heel is lifted. Let's look forward this time. Press into the palms, activate the core, feel your great toe, and then bounce, 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 bounce. Okay, now I didn't do anything with this leg that's in the air, so we'll do that one more time. Soften the knee and then bounce, 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 bounce. Now we'll do that again and we'll get some help from this lifted leg, okay? So body's gonna act all together. Bounce, see how it kind of slowed the action down? Okay, let's try the other side. This foot's gonna push up, slowing things down a little. Good, now we'll do one more. Little drill, now with the legs straight. So this is gonna act as kind of a lever, okay? And this bottom leg is gonna be bouncy. All right, let's go. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Let's try the other side. This leg is stiff. Connect foot to core and bounce, bounce, bounce. All right. <laughs> So that's a lot. I wouldn't do more than that in a practice. It already very challenging for a heart rate, um, partly because we're a little bit upside down, but partly because we're using lots of muscle activation to create that bouncing action, which is actually fairly relaxed seemingly, but the whole body is efforting in, a, in an effort to stay together as one piece, stay organized and activated. Okay, but these are the things that move your students forward. It moves the practice forward. It develops that which they need in their body, stability, organization, ability to activate. That is going to enhance their practice. It gives them more range of control within their practice. Okay, so really worth adding some of these drills. I've got lots more to show you. And if you want to understand more about how to progress the body incrementally through using postures and drills, the practice itself, you could check out my movement template online course. Um, 
and it is just loaded with those kinds of uh, drills, sequences, experiential exercises, and of course lectures that will explain what we're doing in the body when we do this kind of drill, when we use organization and activation, when we actually use what I call the order of progression. So if you want to know more about that, you can go to my website, deniseyogaco.com uh, backslash MT online will take you right to more information about the course. But that's enough about that right now. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, requests, make sure you put it in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys. Bye for now.